Uh, this is Friday, uh, 3rd Pentecost, and our, our uh, service is uh, Morning Prayer, Right 2, on page 80 in the Anglican, in the Episcopal Prayer Book, or the, um, or in your electronic uh, Common Prayer app, which you can get at your app store or Google Play or wherever, page 80. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> we worship you in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore you. Come, let us sing to you. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before your presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to you with psalms. For you are a great God and a great ruler above all gods. In your hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills is yours also. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before you, our maker. For you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. Today's psalm is... Um, the fifth of the penitential psalms. Penitential psalms are the ones that obviously have a kind of uh, Lenten or penitential um, thrust to them. Uh, this is a long psalm. It's um, 28 verses, but a good one. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me when I call. Make haste to answer me, for my days drift away like smoke, and my bones are hot as burning coals. My heart is smitten like grass and withered, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the voice of my groaning, I am but skin and bones. I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on the housetop. My enemies revile me all day long, and those who scoff at me have taken an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass away like a shadow, and I wither like grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever, and your name is from age to age. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointed time has come. For your servants love her very rubble, and are moved to pity even for her dust. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on high, from the heavens he beheld the earth, that he might hear the groan of the captive and set free those condemned to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and God's praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together, and the kingdom also to serve the Lord. God has brought down my strength for my time. God has shortened the number of my days. And I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning, Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. Uh, they all shall wear out like a garment as clothing. You will change them, and they shall be changed. But you are always the same, and your years will never end. 
the children of your servants shall continue, and their offspring shall stand fast in your sight. Well, God may be the same, but we are not. We change all the time. The first reading is from the book of Numbers. The Israelites, the whole congregation, came into the wilderness of Zin in uh, the first month, and the people um, stayed in Kadesh. Miriam died there and was buried there. Now there was no water for the congregation, so they gathered together against Moses and against Aaron. The people quarreled with Moses and said, Would that we had died when our kindred died before the day, before the Lord. Why have you brought the assembly of the Lord into this wilderness for us and our livestock to die here? Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to bring us to this wretched place? It is no place for grain or figs or, or vines or pomegranates, and there is no water to drink. Then Moses and Aaron went away from the assembly to the entrance of the tent of the meeting. And they fell on their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the staff and assemble the congregation, you and your brother Aaron, and command the rock before their eyes to yield its water. Thus you shall bring water out of the rock for them. Thus you shall provide drink for the congregation and their livestock. So Moses took the staff from before the Lord, as he had commanded him, and Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly together before the rock, and he said to them, Listen, you rebels, shall we bring uh, water for you out of this rock? Then Moses lifted up his hand and struck the rock twice with his staff. The water came out abundantly, and the congregation and the livestock drank. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not trust in me, to show my holiness before the eyes of the Israelites. Therefore, you shall not bring the assembly into the land that I have given them. These are the waters of Mirabah, where the people of Israel quarreled with the Lord, and by which he showed his holiness. And the responsory canticle is Querite Dominum, which is number 10 on page 86. Seek the Lord while God wills to be found. Call upon God when God draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and God will have compassion. And to our God, for God will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish that for which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our second reading is from the Gospel of Matthew. Um, as they were leaving Jericho, a large uh, crowd followed Jesus. There were two blind men sitting at the roadside, when they heard that Jesus was passing by, they shouted, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. And the crowd sternly ordered them to be quiet, but they shouted even more loudly, Have mercy on us, Lord, son of David. And Jesus stood still and called them, saying, uh, What do you want me to do for you? And they said, Lord, uh, let our eyes be opened, moved with compassion. Uh, Jesus touched their eyes immediately. They regained their sight and followed him. And the responsory canticle is Dignus S, which I sing. 
Splendor and honor and sovereign power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worshipped and praised, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. The Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, uh, and life everlasting. Amen. Uh, the Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Colic for Proper Seven. O Lord, make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name, for you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Colic for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Call it for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, through the honor of your name. Amen. We pray for those who have died, especially those who have died of coronavirus. Um, we remember our own dead. I remember especially Larry and Marion, Russell, Joseph, Betty, and Barbara, and all our forebears. remember those who are sick or in need of healing of one kind or another. Um, I especially remember Rick and Steve and Linda and Sally and Ann and Jarrett 
and Joe and Eric and all those who are suffering from coronavirus, COVID-19. And we give thanks. Uh, I give a special thanks for the uh, uh, the U.S. Postal Service, which has um, <laughs> been helpful in our isolation in this time of pandemic. And uh, I am grateful to, I suppose, FedEx and the rest of them as well. Um, also for this day and or what rain we have had in the last few days. Um, and the general thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace through believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. Have a good day.